Mike Santillo, and I play keyboard and sing. Dave Muntner, drums. I'm Adam Putzer, I play guitar and sing, and we are the Tins. Uh, the band started around 2005 uh, in college, Binghamton University. Me and Mike were an uh, acoustic duo. Piano and guitar was pretty awful. And then uh, we met Dave in a practice space. Uh, he joined the band the next semester, and the rest is history. Can you tell me a little bit about your new record? We recorded it at Black Dog Studios in Stillwater, New York. The world famous producer Joe Blaney was our guy. The lyrics were written by all of us. I think various inspirations. I think you come up with a bunch of lyrics and then the chorus could be about something else, but they kind of both relate to one another. So it's, it's all three of us you know, working together, I guess. When we were touring, um, we were playing shows at, in Austin, Texas, for South by Southwest. And um, we were listening to a lot of T-Rex at the time. And he's got a song called Life's a Gas, or, well, Mark Bowen of T-Rex has a song called Life's a Gas. It was kind of ended up being the anthem of the trip. That is where the title came from. Also because we couldn't think of anything else to call it. Favorite songs to play live? Uh, I like playing the song Midnight Crowd a lot, because on the record it's acoustic, very uh, ambient and live. It's a lot louder. We're probably sick of all of them at this point. Um, because we, we've had these songs for over a year, and we've been playing them out at shows, so we're kind of, you know, ready to, to write new material, even though the album's just coming out now. Can you tell me about maybe some of your favorite moments in the band? <laughs> we won the Art Voice Boom Battle of the Bands. And that was that definitely was, a favorite That moment. was my favorite moment. Um, also, you know, just recording with Joe Blaney in the studio for the first time was, was really awesome, because he knows what he's doing to see your songs in good hands and like see them develop. It's pretty exciting. How would you say the band has like evolved since those first practices in the uh, We started and we really <laughs> had no clue about anything. You know, we I'd say at this point we have some semblance of an identity. And, you know, back then it was just, oh, I have like a riff. And then it's like, that's a song, you know? And you play that same riff for like 10 minutes. We actually worked on one of Dave's songs for about eight months. I threw a tantrum. <laughs> it was, we it was, evolved. We worked went from one song to ten. <laughs> yeah. Now when we write songs, we all collaborate more. Yeah, and the the uh, evolution of the band is not it's not something that just kind of like stops and like here we are. This we evolved into this. You know, it's something we're um, we're probably evolving more now than before. Just kind of you know giving out the album and seeing some feedback. But we're, we're trying, we're, we're discussing more um, for our next album that we want to do. We're really discussing what we want to accomplish with it. Where's this album? We just like, let's write really good songs. All right, our right, CD release show is coming up Saturday, October 6th at Nietzsche's okay. on Allen Street. It starts at nine o'clock. Yeah. Handsome Dan. Handsome Dan, DJ. It's gonna be in between all the bands. Um, also Dotson Moon and Handsome Jack. So there's two bands that are handsome. And Handsome Adam is going to be playing guitar. Thank you, Art Voice, for being very supportive of us and doing this interview.